Hey, what's up? Call here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to. Whoa, whoa. Stop. Okay, much better. As I was saying, I'll be showing you guys how to stabilize your footage within Final Cut. So without any further ado, let's get to it. Yes, some awesome tasty motion stabilization. Final Cut comes with a built-in awesome motion stabilization filter right from the get-go. Often you don't have time or the budget to stabilize your footage when shooting. So this is a great way to smooth out some of those tricky shots that may have leaked through. Just a note though, this is still a piece of software so it's not going to get it right all the time. And stabilizing your footage while shooting is the preferred method of doing things. But I digress, I'll see you guys in Final Cut. So with Final Cut open and the shaky clip needing some stabilization at the ready, you'll want to open the inspector window for the clip. At the bottom of the video tab you will see the stabilization menu. Click the blue activation button so Final Cut can start analyzing the clip. Depending on how your clips shake will determine how Final Cut analyzes them and thereby determining what stabilization parameters are made available to you. We will take a look at the basic parameters and then I'll show the advanced parameters towards the end. Now if you had a keen eye, and you should because you're a video editor, you would have noticed that the automatic option was selected by default. If you click this menu, you will see Final Cut has three options available, Automatic, Inertia Cam and Smooth Cam. Essentially they all do the same job, but there is a slight difference between the Inertia Cam and the Smooth Cam, and that is warping. No, not the thing on the Starship Enterprise, but rather a resultant effect of the filter trying to counter the shakiness. If your shot is too wild, digital artifacts can occur, and the result looks as though your clip is warping in certain areas. The Inertia Cam, as I found, doesn't do this as badly as the Smooth Cam, but it still can occur. As you can see, there is a smoothing slider that will allow you to adjust how smooth the shot becomes. This is ideal if you want the handheld look but need to be able to focus on the subject effectively. The last adjustable control here is the option to activate the tripod mode. When activated, the filter corrects the clip in such a way that the result looks as though you shot on a tripod, eliminating the handheld look completely. As I said, this is only a filter, a piece of software. It'll not get it right all the time, it's just for minor corrections. Ideally, you want to stabilize the shot when you're filming, so that you don't have to fix it in post. Depending on the severity of the correction needed, Final Cut might allow you access to the more advanced parameters which are Translation Smooth, Rotation Smooth and Scale Smooth. These parameters give you more finite control over your clip's corrections. Translation Smooth allows you to alter how much of the correction is applied. It'll typically zoom the clip to cater for the correction. Rotation Smooth is ideal for clips that aren't level and shake as if rolling. Scale Smooth allows you to adjust how much of the clip is scaled when the correction is applied. As you can see in the clip, the correction warps and distorts the clip in order to make it smooth, and in this case I would only use a minimal correction to keep the handheld Blair Witch Project look. So there we have it, you can now go from having footage like this, to this. Great stuff. But thanks for watching today's video. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and drop a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more tutorial videos like this in the future, please go ahead and sub over there. If you'd like to follow me on my various social platforms, the links are down there. But as for me, Carl, see you guys next week. Take care.